Greetings, friends. This is Mary from Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Come and join me for part two of an amazing estate sale haul. I don't know how many parts there's gonna be, but I know this is part one. No, it's not, because part one was before. This is part two. <laughs> so let's get started and I'll do the uh, more hard goods first and then you'll see the pile, if you saw the thumbnail, the pile of gorgeous costume jewelry necklaces. Okay, so this is a beautiful dish. Now I took this from the cellar. <laughs> I purchased it from the cellar, so it definitely needs, I meant like the basement, needs a little washing, but beautiful display piece. And it is an E.O. Brody company, Cleveland, Ohio, USA. So of course, this, you know, would have had the flower um, thing and the tape and everything. So this definitely is going to need a little bit of a bath before I do anything with it. Gorgeous green, right? Could be great for Easter time. Of course, I, f I found a little baby flower frog, which you don't find these too often. Beautiful, right? Speaking of flower frogs, now I've, this caught my eye just for the box right it, it but it's a flower fashioner and it's trademark and let's see i don't know what it, oh it is made in the usa but this box is just gorgeous all by itself so and you look inside here and these are two little plastic ones look at those aren't they cool I have never seen ones like this. I, so I think they are little plastic flower frogs or flower fasteners. And I just thought it was gorgeous. And then a little bit over on the table that I, I not only found one, I found two. And this one is a little different. This one is another flower fashioner by the same company, flower fashioner. <laughs> And even this, the box is gorgeous too. It had, and they left the top. But this one is a different version. So look at that. And it has, it's this one, it is spring loaded. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd probably hurt myself. <laughs> but what I think it is, is to help suction to the bottom. But look at that. How cool. So I've seen flower frogs here and there, but I have never seen cool ones like this. So estate sales are definitely a good thing to go to. And we actually tend to, you know, once the weather gets better, we tend to have some nice ones here. Um, I'm from New York, um, more upstate capital region, they call it, you know, the Heldberg Mountains. <laughs> if any of that rings a bell. Then we had some critters and this beautiful little bunny. Look at him with the lashes. And I'm pretty sure this is Home Co. I think that's the Home Co. Mark. So adorable. And then I couldn't resist. I had to get kitty cats, right? Look at this. It's a little kitty cat candle holder. How cute. Playing with the little ball of pink yarn. And then this guy, he's just being all lazy, lying on the floor, being all cute. You know, he lies flat. It's kind of hard to show you that. But adorable. He does remind me of a home cold kitty face too. But there's no markings on the bottom of this except a two. But so cute. Then, now this was another one they, that's going to need a bit of a bath. Um, but look at this gorgeous milk glass basket. I love it. It's a diamond point because you can feel all the diamond points on there. Gorgeous. Oh, and it does have, oh, let's see. Um, oh, what is the WC or the WG? Oh, I, I, I don't know why I have such a brain fart on that. Westmoreland, I think. Ugh, it's here. It's the W inside the G or the C. I always get this wrong. <laughs> Westmoreland glass. Okay. But a be the handle is gorgeous and it'll be perfect for upcoming Easter, Mother's Day. Ah, oh, perfect. Then I found the similar one 
the hat, the famous top hat, right? Doesn't have um, the markings, but it definitely is going to need a, oh, I'm not sure what that is. Well, it's definitely going to need a bath <laughs> before I do anything with them. But aren't they gorgeous? Trying to look for a maker's mark on this, but I don't see anything. But beautiful top hat, you know, for you could make a, something in there or hold some toothpicks because that's what they're originally for. And then, whoops, let's try our other piece of milk glass. So this one is more of a hobnail um, dish and the milk glass. Gorgeous. And as I said in the last um, sale, sale uh, haul video, the estate sale, I'll go back to the first one. The woman said, if you want to pay this price, take as much, you know, however much you could do. And I filled my car to the brim. I could barely get in there. <laughs> so there's going to be several parts of this video. So these were all things that were, you know, here, there, all over the place. And then I found these, these were in a little yellow bag and I thought they were kind of interesting. I think they're supposed to be coasters, but I'm honestly not sure what direction they go. So they look like little flowers, aren't they neat? So I'm thinking they go this way, but there's this metal piece on the bottom. So I'm thinking that they are coasters, you know, but it's just so adorable. Look, and it comes, you get four of them, you know, they're definitely vintage. I mean, you just a little wipe down here, bring back some of the nice color, but these are so neat. So little drink coasters for the spring or summertime. So cute. And the last item before I show you the jewelry are these tins. Ah. Oh beautiful little tart tins or whatever jello molds whatever we want to call them and they had let's see one two three four five of them of this kind here but me i love to make little assemblages with these so this is going to be awesome because these are much bigger than the ones that i've done and the assemblages or, or uh, dioramas or whatever you want to call them. Love to make them for the season and I love to make them out of the um, vintage items. You know, a little bit of vintage, a little bit of not. <laughs> so you can see some of the stuff that I've done in my previous videos. You can also check out um, something that I made for St. Patrick's Day um, on my Instagram, which is also Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. So those were the beautiful items. Now, I do the live sales. Um, here on YouTube on Sundays at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So some of those, and I've been um, being invited to different um, other resellers. So check that out, you know, check out my Instagram or my Facebook to see when I'm a uh, guest on somebody's show, which is nice. Um, some of these things will be for sale at the live sales coming up. Probably not the tins because I use them for um, my crafting but definitely some of the other ones, and especially the stuff that I'm gonna show you right now. Whew, the, when the woman, I was going around, you know, picking things here and there, and because they had first said it was $5 a bag, and then she said, well, no, here's take this price, and I'm like, oh my goodness, so I'm going around like a crazy woman, and I, you have to imagine this in your head. Now, all of these beautiful necklaces, right? Okay, so I had taken, <laughs> like I'll just grab a few of them right there all these beaded necklaces and here I am walking around this estate sale coming from the one bedroom and I have them all around my neck <laughs> a whole pile of them around my neck I felt like Mr. T right <laughs> if you know who Mr. T is right because I'm a kid of the 80s you can't miss the A team all right so Let's try to go through these and not make it, you know, a haul video that goes on forever. But we have this salmon peachy color. So these are all beaded necklaces. They're, you know, I guess infinity necklaces. I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> so you can have it really long, you know. Okay, so let's see. Can I be Mrs. T today? All right, well, not with this one because this one broke. So... Um, but ones that break, you could always use them for crafting. So I may keep some of these for crafting. So another beaded necklace, very pretty. A little ASMR there, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like ASMR. It's cringy for me. 
Now, here are some other ones that are pearl colors. I honestly do not know how to test a pearl. So, let's see. We'll just put them on. There's another one. <laughs> Beautiful necklace. Let's see. Now, these look a little different. And the clasp is a lot older. So, the this one may be um, real pearls. I don't know. But there's the clasp. So, let's see. We'll put those on. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to put too many on right at a time. Oh, so, all right. Well, let's just see how many. Oh, choke myself there. That's not good. Some of these I won't be able to put on because I got a big old neck. Like, especially this one. Oh, my goodness. Somebody has to have a petite little neck for that. So that's a beautiful necklace. And this class, now this one is uh, coming off. So you'd have to give it a good clean or just use it as a display piece because looking a little rough there. Alrighty, so these are another infinity ones. With these are more of a tan creamy color. So let's see. <laughs> um going back to the uh what do you call it? they're well now they're called Visco girls or whatever with the shell necklaces. So this one is a little more modern I think. I don't know. Because it has the one where you just unscrew it. So let's see. Well, I'm not gonna try that. We'll be here all day. But this is sort of that shell necklace. But I, and maybe not. It, or maybe it's an imitation one because it actually feels more like plastic. So that would be cool too. Now this one I know I can't put on because I have a big old neck. <laughs> but this one is. Um, It's a beautiful necklace, but I, I don't, unless they have a spot here, I can't tell. I don't want to pull it apart, but I think it has one of those pull apart things where you could just take a spot and unhook it. But this would be beautiful for, you know, springtime, Earth Day, uh, Christmas. So that's gorgeous. Then we have these other ones that are pretty cool. Now this, a lot of them are all together. So this is an orange one that has some a clasp there but it's so big you could just put it on your around your neck look at that Whew. all right so let's see here's another one more of an orange color oh no this is one of those okay there all right this might be a good time to take these off because they have a few of them that are um Oh my goodness, this might not have been a good idea. <laughs> We're gonna need a rescue party just to get out of all these necklaces. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> did Mr. T have help with all this when he did this to <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oof. Oh, we must have lost one because we have some extra beads hanging around. So <laughs> it wasn't from the one I just had on, but okay. So this particular person enjoyed um, these ones where they were multi-layers because I had a couple of those last in my last live sale, but oh, these are pretty neat. So they had the ones that were beaded and had chains on them so uh, i'm actually not going to keep those <laughs> oh so i have to send out a rescue party like this one okay so oh my goodness guys you have to see the well if you saw the thumbnail you saw the the gracious goodness gobbly gobbly goose <laughs> you see all these are, oh that's what you say when you don't know what to say, right? Because it's all tangled all up in itself. There we go. Okay, so here's some more of these. These are the three ones that fit like this. So I definitely couldn't wear these. But the clasps and the holders, they're so cool. So there's that one. And all right, this one here is more of a silver color. But these are all just basic, you know, they're not fancy beads maybe that you know they seem like they're just plastic but these clasps seem a little bit older so 
All right, there's another one. Nice, beautiful silver colors. All right, and then this one is very pretty. It has like um, painted flowers on it. So I do like that one. That one's pretty. Oof, sorry guys. Making a craziness in my hair here. All right, then we have a beautiful blue one. It doesn't want to let go of the other ones. <laughs> Very beautiful blue colors. Kind of looks like an earth, almost. Earth tones, kind of. It's not just a solid blue. And then we have this beautiful retro, the gold and um, orange colors here. You know, that, that 70s look. Okay, very pretty. And then we go from that, we can the 4th of July look. Look at that. 4th of July, Memorial Day. And these are kind of interesting beads because they look more like seeds, but they're not. Very cool. Then pink. Oh, I have to wear the pink ones. There we go. Whew. This you could wrap around yourself three times. This one sort of has flat circles. And then we have another one here. Now, this one is much older and it looks like it's metal. And let's see, then we have some more basic ones. We have these blue ones here. Whoa. We have some blue ones that are a kind of an interesting shape. They're not circle shaped. I don't know, they're kind of a, like somebody dented a circle. <laughs> then we have circle ones. All right, let's see, oh, beautiful. These go very nicely with my shirt. Look at that. And then, if you're feeling feisty, we have some black ones. So aren't these all beautiful? All this beautiful costume jewelry. And then if you feel like going to the disco. Now this one, oh, this one is beautiful. This one is actually, it says it's made in Austria. Cause it says it right there on the clasp, made in Austria. This one is so cool. Cause even the clasp in the back has this um, cover to it. So this one is so neat. A little hard to get the clasp back in there, but this one is very cool. Like a little disco balls. <laughs> so then we have more of these um, beaded, beaded necklaces. So this person really enjoyed her very long beaded necklaces. We could do the boho colors. And let's see, we have some beautiful orangey red ones and a yellow. Now, whose neck would that fit on? I don't know. Not mine. Maybe a kid's. Maybe these are for kids. I don't know. <laughs> they were all just combined all together. So here's some other blue ones. Very pretty. Still going, guys. Can you believe it? Oh, here we go. Here's one. Here is the beautiful orangey salmon one that is going to end up in the crafting pile, right? I found the rest of it. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy. It's raining beads. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> uh, I guess that would be good for crafters, right? Okay. And then this beautiful red one here. Whew. So many beaded necklaces. That noise is the rest of that one necklace that's going in the bowl next to me. Okay. We have yellow. All sorts of gorgeous little things. And then these, we have purple. Now these look like more like, you know, Mardi Gras beads or something. <laughs> and here's a nice sky blue color. So look at that. Oh, so beautiful. If you like to wear all these beautiful long necklaces. And oh, here's a more of a lustery colored orange. I'm trying to just get these all separated from each other. Oh, goodness. They are all tangled. Discombobulated here. Oh, let go. Okay, here we go. Oops. A little bit of lustery orange. Getting down to the end. Oh, here's the black and silver. All beaded. Very beautiful. Getting there. Oof. 
All righty. So the last few. Now this one is actually really cool. And I think this one is made out of some sort of shells. As you can hear that, that shell noise. It's really cool. Very boho looking. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to take these off because the last few are more of those um, gorgeous three, uh, I'm going to say three tiered, but that's not it. <laughs> three strands. Um, but so this is more of a yellowy, lustery, lemony yellow. Oh, perfect for springtime if I can get it to do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Isn't that gorgeous? You like, the, you know, and it's just this beautiful, lustery, lemony color. Perfect for spring. Okay. Oh, well, no, we have one more silver one there. That was not a three-tier there. I'm going to call it a three-tier. <laughs> the three jewelry there. Okay, here we go. These last two are, look at that one. Now, that one is beautiful. It's like a gold gold beads and um like a i don't know what you would call that it's not a salmon i'm not sure but another beautiful three strand necklace and then the last one which is another gorgeous one this one if i were to wear these uh, this one i would wear i love it it's like that iridescent oil slick looking one but that's not what's the best part the best part are the things that are holding the strands on. Look at that. It has like a little rhinestone there and it's on both sides. So, whew, that took forever, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe not, but let's see. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I thought I was done and I looked in the, ba the bag and there's still a few more. Okay. Ooh, we don't want to miss this goodness here. Oh, and I found one pair of the uh, clip. Well, they're sort of clip-ons. They're, they're the older ones with the screws in the back with this rhinestone color. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I was looking in here and I found a couple more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and then we have some beautiful clip-on earrings. So look at those. Aren't they beautiful? beautiful gorgeous and beautiful beautiful that's my new word beautiful <laughs> all right here are actually i was wrong here are the last two and this is beautiful i think this might have been well hold up i don't know it's a two strander but i'm not sure where the others clasp went so this one might need repair. It's more of a limey color. <laughs> Lime colored, um, cream colored. Look at that. But it must have had something to make it on this side. That's gone. But that should be an easy fix if you're into fixing jewelry. And then this last one. Here it is. This is a two strand purple. So purple and rhinestones. So if you're into the purple and the rhinestone colors very nice and you have a tiny neck not a chunky monkey neck like me <laughs> so beautiful and i may keep a few of them for crafting but i am not a big jewelry wearer so you would definitely see some of these jewelry pieces at a live sale coming up whether it's a guest star one or my own which are on usually on sundays three o'clock eastern standard time so this is only part two there's several more parts to this so come on back give thumbs up to this video come on back by subscribing and you'll get notification turn on that notification bell so you can see the next few parts of this estate sale because there's definitely more coming and i'll catch you on another haul video hopefully you can join me and i'll see you again soon bye